Yo, in this video everybody, we're going to create a temperature conversion program using C. This program is going to be kind of similar to the weight conversion program that we did in the last video. We're going to create a different variation of it. Let's begin by creating some variables. This time, we will create a char of choice. And I will set this to a null terminator character. In the last video, a user typed in 1 or 2 for their choice for the weight conversion. This time, it'll be F for Fahrenheit or C for Celsius. Let's create a floating point number of Fahrenheit, and I can never spell Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. I'll set that to be 0, 0.0F, and then Celsius. This will also be a floating point number. Celsius equals 0, 0.0F. Those are the three variables we'll need. We'll need a few print statements printf. Let's add a title of some sort. Temperature conversion program. Then we'll need a prompt. We'll ask a user if they want to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit or from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Let's say option C is for Celsius to Fahrenheit. And then option F is for Fahrenheit to Celsius. Fahrenheit to Celsius. And this is option F. Let's add a few new line characters. Printf is the, we'll say temp for short. Celsius, I'll add a prompt of C. Or Fahrenheit. I don't want to type that out. Fahrenheit. We want the user to type in C or F. The user's typing in a choice, a character, C or F. We'll use scanf. The format specifier is percent %C for a character at the address of our variable choice. Insert a value there. Then we'll need some if statements. If the choice is equal to a character of C, that means the temperature is currently in Celsius and we have to convert it to Fahrenheit. Let's add a comment that this is C to F, Celsius to Fahrenheit. Else if our choice is equal to a character of F, we want to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. Else the user didn't type in something that was valid. We'll print the following using printf. Invalid choice. Please select C or F. Within our if statement, let's ask for the temperature in Celsius. We'll use printf. Enter the temperature in Celsius. Then we'll do the same thing for Fahrenheit. Enter the temperature in Fahrenheit. Let's do a test run. Temperature conversion program. C will convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. F will convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. Is the temp in Celsius or Fahrenheit? The temperature will currently be in C, Celsius. Enter the temperature in Celsius. And then the program ends, but we didn't get that far yet. Let's test it again. The temperature is currently in Fahrenheit. Enter the temperature in Fahrenheit. And that will convert it to Celsius. If we type in something that's not valid, let's say we don't have Kelvin, then we get the following output. Invalid choice. Please select C or F. That works so far. Within our if statement, we need to use scanf to get some input. Scanf, we need a format specifier of %f for a floating point number at the address of our variable Celsius. Then we have to convert it to Fahrenheit. We'll take our variable of Fahrenheit, set it equal to, now here's the formula. Within parentheses, we're going to take Celsius 
times 9 divided by 5. Then add, outside of the parentheses, 32. This is to convert C to F, Celsius to Fahrenheit. Then we'll print the following using printf. I'll add a format specifier of F. We're displaying a floating point number. I'll set the precision to 0.1, so we display one digit after the decimal. Then the word Celsius is equal to add a format specifier of 0.1F, then the word Fahrenheit, which I can never spell. So I just copy it and paste it. New line, then we'll insert our temperatures. Celsius, followed by Fahrenheit. Let's copy these three lines, then make a few changes. So paste them within the else if statement. For the user input, using scanf, we will insert a variable at the address of Fahrenheit. Now our Celsius temperature equals this formula. Celsius equals, within parentheses, Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 divided by 9. And then within our print statement, we'll switch some of these words around. Our temperature in Fahrenheit is equal to our temperature in Celsius. And then we do have to switch these variables around when we display them. We have Fahrenheit, then Celsius. And that should be everything. Let's run it. Temperature conversion program. Let's say the temperature is currently in Celsius. I'll type in C, capital C. Enter the temperature in Celsius. I'll say 30. 30 degrees Celsius is equal to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's test it again. The temperature will currently be in Fahrenheit. I'll type in capital F. Maybe the temperature is 90 degrees Fahrenheit. 90 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 32.2 degrees Celsius. Then I'll type in something that's not valid. Is the temp in Celsius or Fahrenheit? I'll type in P for pizza. Invalid choice. Please select C or F. All right, everybody, that is a temperature conversion program that you can write using C.